Hi Martin. Hello. How's it? Good. I'm great, man. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, um, I'm a 3D animator, uh, or animator in general, uh, 2D as well. Uh, I work for IDEA and I do everything uh, when it comes to animation and videography. I, I take the jobs that I can uh, and yeah. Awesome. Can you tell us uh, the work that you did in uh, videography? Um, I worked. I worked as a focus puller on a movie called The Contract. Um, the, not the whole way through, but it was kind of you know do what you can when you can. Um, and I worked as a. Uh, as a videographer for about a year and a bit, I full surfing cars. I went around the country with a, um, a presenter and we did things on cars. <laughs> Lovely. How did you get into 3D? Um, after, after school, I took a gap year. I worked there as a computer repairman uh, for about a year. And while I was doing that, I realized that I didn't want to fix computers forever and uh, I saw animation as, a, as an option um, and I started I started like uh, doing it by myself and I realized okay I like it so then uh, I saved up I saved up um, about half of my first year's fees and my dad paid the rest so thank you dad and that's it yeah wow that's very inspirational so where, where did you go to school? Um, Oakfields, oh at school, college. Oh college. College, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Oakfields, Oakfields College. Um, that's by Greenstone Mall. And it's quite small. It's not, not fancy or anything, but you know, like immediately after that college, I got a job. So I can't complain. I mean, you know, that's what they said I'd get the end and that's what I got to the end. Beautiful. Can you take us through uh, your experience at Oxford? Um, oh, a while ago now. Um, yeah, very positive experience. I met a lot of um, a lot of friends that I still keep in touch with. Um, yeah, it was it was uh, a diverse course, if I can say it like that. We, we learnt a lot about everything, a little bit of sound design, a little bit of um, anatomy, you know, everything you need to get to work in the industry. Um, also a very uh, community driven um, college that was try to make like events, make people know each other and stuff. So it was a really good time. Some of the best years of my life in college. Beautiful. Can you tell us the experience of getting a first job? How, how did you feel? Um, super excited, super um, nervous. Uh, it, was, it was, yeah, it was for educational company. Um, they weren't the best company. They didn't pay me well. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know what, I also I made some good friends there um, and I learned some, I learned some lessons about, you know, warning signs uh, when you join the company, what you should probably look out for. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very young CEOs is one of the warning signs. Um, yeah, but... Um, what, what, what were the positives that you took from uh, your first uh, job? The positives? Yeah. Um, when I was working there, there were like a few other animators that I was working under and they were, they were <coughs> very strict for the quality of work that it wasn't, the quality of work wasn't determined 
bar. The people that owned the company was determined by the other animators. And the standard that all these other animators had was a lot higher than like anyone else's that I've ever worked for. Um, and, I, and that was my first job. So I feel like it was a good, a good start to my career because every time I did a little thing wrong, someone would point it out. And you have to get a, you had to get like a, a sign off from every other animator. And if they didn't like the way your flag moved, that you weren't going to move on from that, from that job. So. Yeah, I've seen your animations very, very smooth, man. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take us through your thought process when you receive a brief and how you execute your brief? Um, yeah, so um, thought process. Uh, first thing, if I read a if I read a brief, I just try and imagine it. Uh, draw out a storyboard if you can, if you have time, if you don't always have time. Um, and then, yeah, it's establish your shots uh, and then you just basically work from there. You, if you have your timing down, you know, at this point that's when the camera changes, then you can just, your next step is just to get everything ready for that first shot. You take it one shot at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself by getting everything ready all at once. Just just do one section, one piece, put it together at the end. Um, yeah. Do you feel like executives understand that animation is a lot of work and it takes a long time? No. no. Most people outside of the animation industry has no sympathy for an animator's plot. Or, um, they don't understand the process. Why would they? No one ever showed it to me. Uh, and you, you have to explain that. That's like one of the major um, points to this job is managing expectations. And uh, you are just communicating properly. If you can't communicate, you've got to start learning because people don't understand. They, they think it's a lot easier than what it is, they think it's simpler than what it is. They don't know that to make someone move, you have to create a character from scratch, rig it, weight, paint, texture. They, they don't know all of that. They just they just want a man walking from left to right. So, um, so communication is key, especially to your superiors, else they might get angry. So, what would you say to an animator who's unable to express themselves, especially from, you know, let's say they get a brief and the person who's briefing doesn't really understand what animation entails? And what would your advice uh, be to the animator on uh, getting that word out there? How should they negotiate? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a difficult one. If you don't have communication skills, um, I'd recommend building them up. Um, I'm not great at it. Um, it's not, like, not particularly my strong suit. Uh, but don't, don't let them imagine what you're doing. Tell them what you're doing. Um, be straightforward. Uh, be honest. If you can't do something in two days, tell them you can't do it in two days. And then they won't be disappointed when you don't deliver it. So I think honesty is a big key. Um, being honest about your setbacks as well. So if you know, they gave me two days, everything was going well until one and a half days through, and something just breaks or whatever. Um, tell them that. Tell them, you know, I was I was this far, this broke. I'm gonna have to backtrack a little. You know, just honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Um, also try to be friendly. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that you, know, you only get over time. Uh, so don't, don't feel bad if you know, your first job, you're trying to tell someone something and they just won't listen to you. It's, be 
people are difficult, this job is difficult. Beautiful advice. What are your favorite programs? Uh, right now it's Blender. Um, I used to be a 3DS Max person, uh, but Blender's doing a lot better when it comes to like overall uh, ease of use. Um, so Blender, Blender's right up there. Um, after effects, uh, just for the finishing touches and stuff. Blender, Blender's my baby right now. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been uh, doing 3D? Uh, I've been doing it now. Nine years, nine years. Nine years. Wow, that's a lot of experience. What would you say to somebody who's looking for a three artist and they're looking at this and considering you? Um, pay me lots of money. <laughs> no, um, if you're considering me, um, thank you, first off. Um, and, yeah, uh, if you can't get me, then don't be disappointed. I'm sure there's lots of other three artists out there. Um, I don't know what else to say to you. <laughs> Good choice. Um, are you looking to work on a movie or a series in the future? What do, what does the future look for you? Um, yeah, so I, I do have I do have an idea for a children's show um, that I want to get off the ground, but that's that's still far far in the future. I want to. I want to do it in Unreal 5 um, and I want to, I want to get some motion uh, with some Rococo suits, um, some, some motion suits and I want to set up a green screen and I want to do it like really nicely. Um, so yeah, and it's going to be, it's going to be based off of uh, Terry Pratchett's uh, Discord. I don't know if you've read it, it's pretty good and I think it's super appealing. I'll obviously put my own spin on it, but there's three witches in there that I just, I love the, the, the way the characters bounce off of each other and the dynamic. And yeah, so that's, that's my pop dream. Until then I'll just keep doing work, just get paid. <laughs> um, usually 3D work is tedious. How do you uh, handle everything mentally? Especially if you have a deadline and somebody uh, is at your back pressuring you to finish uh, an asset. Um, I don't sleep sometimes. Uh, I've gone weeks without sleep to get things done. Um, mentally to cope, I don't know what I do. Uh, <laughs> I have a hobby that's not drawing and not animation. Um, go for walks outside. Sometimes I just go for like a drive somewhere. Uh, I exercise, that helps. Audiobooks, audiobooks help a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. Exercise. I think exercise is a, is a big factor in like how, how well you do mentally sometimes. Uh, if your body feels good, if you feel strong, then you feel strong mentally. Um, if you feel weak and lethargic, then you know, that, that, that doesn't help. So I'd say to keep your mental state going, exercise, read some books, watch TV. <laughs> Lovely. What is your best animation movie? My favorite. Or, or series? Yeah, that's that's very hard to say. Um, Akira would have to be like right up there. Um, uh, I like a lot of them. And Why did you choose Akira? Is it uh, the cinematography? Is it the animation? Is it the storyline? Yeah, it's um, it's all of the above. Eh? I feel like it's just like a wonderful piece of art. I don't know the 
The vibe it gives off is really cool. I feel like that's like one of the most important things to me um, is the vibe and how I feel while I'm watching it. So the curio gives me it makes me feel fun and I like it. So. <laughs> Well, most 3D animators in the country feel like South Africa doesn't have a lot of opportunities for them. How do you feel about that and what would you say to a 3D artist struggling to find work? Um, first off, I don't think there's no opportunity here. I think there is a lot of opportunity in South Africa. It's not the most high paying opportunity, um, but there are <clears throat> there are people who who are looking for 3D artists. Um, you just have to find them. Uh, but these days, everyone, because of you know big COVID, um, everyone's looking for remote people. No one needs you to go in anymore. It's old fashioned to go in every day. Um, so I feel like in our industry, it's kind of it's opened up a lot of doors for us. Um, you can get freelance work from random places now, people are more open to it. So I don't think you have to be anywhere in the world to get opportunities in 3D. Um, I actually saw Sony's looking for, um, I forgot the name of the, of the studio, but the people that made the, the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, they're looking for people from all over the world right now. That, that means you have to have good hardware though you know rendering can take forever especially when you're doing ray trace uh, rendering so what would you advise a 3d artist who is very very good but because of the machine that they are working with they can't really seem to get much done oh, that's that's a horrible question. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've all been there. I'm currently there. I, I just got a better piece. Then they expect better things from me. Kind of always catching up to, to what like, the hardware is. But what I'd say is, you know what, I mean, maybe, you know, get what you can with what money you can. Um, but don't stress about you know keeping up with the Kardashians. You, know, you just you gotta use what you got. Um, if you're seen slow, take some stuff out of it. If, if you can't you can't render it, ask a friend. Or, I don't know, make a plan um, until you can get something better or something that will work for you. Um, but yeah, just. There's a lot of tricks um, to keep it normal, to just seem small. Um, also, if you can separate things, render them out one at a time on different layers, learn about compositing, and then, um, and then you can, say, making a waterfall, you can render out the mist in one go, and then you can render out the water in a different go, and you know, put it together at the end. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Five years, hey. Um, probably still saving money working. Maybe at the company I'm working at now, uh, idea. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, I'll honestly run the worst companies. Um, a lot better than most of you. Um, but yeah, I'll probably still, probably still either working for them or someone else. Um, I think I kind of have like a 10-year plan to get my studio going. Um, that's, we'll see, you know, life's chaotic. Alright, thank you so much Martin for your time. Thank you. <laughs>